Okay, I don't want to be all conspiracy theorists or anything, but, uh... Corey Perry definitely banged Connor Medard's mom, didn't she? Uh, I guess the nickname Scory Perry now has a different connotation, doesn't it? Also, does anybody want to take John Gibson? We're over him now. We'll worry about Gully another time. It was just nice to get him to ask me to come back against the Islanders. If you'd have told me that two other teams would fire their coach before the Isles fired Lane Lambert, I would have assumed that at least one of them was engaged in criminal activities. Or that David Tepper had bought a team. Speaking of bad head coaches that need to be fired, once one of our fans or our owner are able to pick DJ Smith out of El Patrice lineup, it is over for him here. Yeah, I definitely advise firing your bad head coach. It, uh, it can turn your team around pretty easily. Although it does also tend to help when your team has the best player on the planet and he remembers that he can score on any goaltender at any time. How much longer do I have to scream and yell about how awful our power play is? Todd Reardon either needs a lobotomy or a bus ticket out of town. I'm sorry, I do not want to hear anybody bitch and complain about their power play considering we have not scored on our last 30 chances. Well, of course the reeling Minnesota Wild just fired their coach and made this a get right game for them. Also, I'm sorry, but Jordan Cairo, you really need to start scoring at some point. Aw, uh, what's wrong? Pittsburgh didn't get every single call going your way? Good. We remembered the 17th Stanley Cup, you motherfuckers. Phoenix Stopley leading us to five straight wins. Keep sleeping on us, media. And you idiot rink rat. Oh look, is that the backup goaltender we buried in the minors? Coming around to shit on us now that Vasilevsky's out and we desperately need goaltending depth? <laughs> That's fun. The haircut looks good, but the 40 saves look even better, Georgie. Connor Ingram, you beautiful son of a bitch. Also, why the hell did we not play Michael Carcone last year? You know, I didn't need the full reminder of how bad our management has mishandled this team, but watching Tifoli and Denol completely shit on us, while Johnson and Armia completely shit the bed is... Merde, I will never forgive Bergevin. Man, I couldn't even enjoy beating the Bruins for one day and then Chinakov might want out. Man, how much longer are we gonna have to deal with Yarmo's screw-ups? Wait, are we actually 5-4-1 in our last 10 games? No, no, I'm not going to allow myself to be deluded into thinking that this team is actually good. Unless... Hey, Domi, you better be watching out. He's not bald. He shaves his head. There's a difference. At some point, Jacob Markstrom's gonna have to get treated for PTSD for all the shots he's had to face this year. I'm never gonna love another human being as much as I love Andrei Svechnikov. Hell, the band's even elite at heading the puck. I wasn't worried before, but not being able to score on a 5-on-3 against the Chicago Blackhawks of all teams is making me feel like maybe something's wrong with these guys. So we got rid of Beauvillier, we can sign Ethan Bear, and we actually got a pick back for it? Honestly, I'm just so shocked I forgot what it's like to have a competent GM. Okay, Domi may have got his ass beat, but that was an all-time clap back at Bennett there. All we gotta do is take care of business, and we'll be back at the top of the division by the end of the week. Parade rope has not changed. Well, at least Risto hasn't done anything to shoot this team at the foot in the two games he's been back. I tell you, these forwards look absolutely incredible. Really, all we need is one or two defensemen, and we're gonna be sitting pretty. Also, continually bless Jake Ottinger. Hey, listen guys, I know the Stanley Cup hangover and playing down to your opponents thing, but uh, how are we making the Arizona Coyotes actually look like legitimate team? We're free. We're free! We're, we're, we're finally free! Oh, thank God, we're no longer going to be dragged down by the awful coaching of- No, John Hines, why? Wild making a terrible decision about their replacement head coach. Meanwhile, Bones is back. And I hope he brought some ideas about how to fix this god-awful power play with him. No, I don't want to talk about it, alright? I know we got our asses kicked by the Rangers and then we lost to the Blue Jackets. We're still top of the conference. We're still the best team in the league. Was still going to win the Stanley Cup. OB's Nick up. We, we got Patrick Kane. We got Patrick Kane. Oh my God, what a glorious day. Not only do we get to stick it to our old rivals, the Blackhawks, but we finally get some support on our top six. Un unrelated news, Patrick, are you comfortable playing goalie at all? Did I need Patrick Kane on my team? No. Am I sad that he won't be coming to play for his hometown Sabres? Also no. I mean, why wouldn't we be fine with Jordan Greenway in our top nine? In all honesty, I didn't really want Kane back. I'm just glad that the rumors are now done. And honestly, I care more that we got to shove it in Boston's face. Suck it. Sock suck, Pat suck, Celtic suck, Bruins suck.